This is Matt Sexton from Florida DOT's Production Support CAD office. Uh, today we're talking about the Bentley Connection Client and the importance of this Connection Client. If you were at the CAD Manager's meeting, you may have already uh, heard some about this, but I'm just going to kind of recap that information so that we have a recording of it, so that we have this information available when we need to send it to various people uh, in the department that may need to know this. So the Connection Client, uh, the little history of what's going on here, in the not too distant future, uh, select server licensing from Bentley will cease to be a thing for the Select Series 4 products. The license tracking and licensing will then be done through Connection Client. This will be for the Connect Edition products, as well as like Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, Open Bridge Modeler, things like that will be licensed through Connection Client. Currently, it does require that you log in and have credentials. We are rolling out Microsoft Federated Services statewide so that the user's Windows login will be connected to Connection Client. This will make it unnecessary to manually log into Connection Client and, of course, makes it easier for the user because they don't have to maintain separate passwords. But, like I said, right now our maintenance contract does use the Select Server and we will be moving to Connection Client for tracking our usage. One of the things about losing Select Server is that we'll be losing our multi-user site license discount. If, however, we move everyone to Connection Client, we will be eligible for a discount that's almost twice our current discount, which is why installing and using Connection Client is imperative. Connection Client is being rolled out via SCCM. However, if you find that you do not have Connection Client installed, or if it seems like a user does not have credentials for Connection Client or it's not working, please contact your district CAD manager. Ultimately, that may involve getting, uh, getting the CAD office here in Tallahassee involved, but please contact your CAD manager and see about that. So I'm going to go ahead and step you through what is this connection client thing. It lives down in the tray here. You may have seen it pop up. You may have dismissed it over uh, the last chunk of time and just said, close this out so it's getting in my way. That's what connection client looks like. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to sort of step you through what this is, what the different features are, what the preferences and settings are, and then we're going to also talk about Connect Advisor a little bit later on in the webinar. So let's go ahead and look at the preferences here. You will see that there's some options for automatically signing in and uh, minimizing connection client after sign in. I am not aware of how this is going to be affected by micro, uh, Microsoft Federated Services, whether you'll see anything at all. Uh, maybe Vern can speak to what the eventual appearance will be once we're connected that way, but in theory, uh, it may or may not change. So, But you will not have to log in. Uh, notifications, there's an option to disable the desktop notifications. That'll be notifications like there's a software update or um, various and sundry other things. I have that disabled on mine because nobody likes notifications. Here's an interesting thing. Connection Client also provides access to updates to the software. This is sort of problematic for us because, of course, users do not have sufficient administrative rights to install software updates on their machines. So disabling the automatic updates is important to do, and you know, disabling those notifications uh, is, is possibly a thing you might want to do. But then again, of course, they get a, a notification for a software update, then they can check with their CAD manager and say, is this something I need to install? Can you install this for me? One of the main features of Connection Client is that it's part of Bentley's cloud service concept for sharing data, um, whether it's through project-wise shares or uh, Connection Client shares. It all uses the same cloud-based functionality. Um, we, we don't currently use this. I don't think we necessarily have any plans to use this because we have Vault, and that's our, our method of project management. But that is uh, something that is contained in Connection Client. So it's something to be aware of. And then, of course, simply your account information is at the tail end there. Moving on, another functionality of Connection uh, Center, sorry, Connection Client, is access to Connection Center. You'll notice a little waffle icon here. Let's go to Connection Center and take a look. Connection Center is the portion of Bentley's website that provides you access to training, uh, news information. It also provides access to the Bentley communities. 
um, for depending on what your I guess they call them entitlements as a user are you may see different options such as software downloads or the option to put in service requests and look for product documentation this of course is where you would then be able to access things like Bentley Learn which is right here and other services obviously I have a lot more icons here because I do things like the user management and I was going to also show you the user management page. This is going to show you who, who all is signed up for using Connection Client and Bentley Licensing. You see there is an absolute ton, uh, 815 people here. So everyone should have the ability to log into Connection Client. Uh, if they don't, I can also reset that password. The district CAD managers should also have the option to uh, reset those passwords if the user doesn't know their password have need the credentials set up. But again, when we're rolling out the Microsoft Federated Services, that should take care of that. That's the extent of Connection Client, what I have for that portion of the presentation. I'm going to be moving on to Connect Advisor unless Vern has anything he'd like to add about Connection Client. I mean, most of it is self-explanatory. The, I think we probably should leave the preferences to automatically sign in um, because if they uncheck that, then it's likely they're, even with the federated services, it's not going to log them in directly. So uh, that should be set on all the machines. Mm -hmm. um, this is also uh, obviously where you can log service tickets, which is we highly recommend uh, if it's a Bentley report if it's a Bentley issue with the product and you want to get some clarification on if it's a bug or you want to report a bug the uh, there's a place to do service tickets and you can track your own service tickets um, so we that this is going to be the method for doing that in the future as well uh, I'm trying to think that's pretty much the two things a normal user would need to do um, uh, other than that Go ahead and continue on, Matt. Okay. I do want to clarify as far as the service tickets portion of it, and correct me if I'm wrong, everyone's still going to be uh, interacting with the CAD office for their, their support, of course. But when you determine that something is a Bentley issue, uh, that's when you'd put a, a Bentley service ticket in. Bear in mind that the way you define that is, of course, if you're having an issue um, and you think it might be a, a Bentley issue, something wrong with the actual Power GeoPack open Rose designer, etc., opening up that product in the default work mode outside of the F dot workspace is the way you'd then determine if that's a, a Bentley issue, something that's wrong with the platform. That's when you would log it with these service tickets. Otherwise, everything stays the same as far as logging tickets with the CAD office. We are here to help. So I have a question from the audience here, Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, when we have folks registered for the first time, how does Bentley know they are part of the licensed connection? You know, uh, and the answer to that is the answer to that is they would be um, registered through someone who has uh, the uh, authority to create a login in this screen that you're seeing right here, the, the user management. So you'd log in as your credentials as a uh, a licensed F dot Bentley user or user manager and create that account there. That's my understanding. Right. And and what Bentley is doing is they're taking the at dot.fl.state.us and anyone with that email address or user ID automatically gets a uh, password link to their windows is what they're doing. So that's how they know if it's DOT or not. Excellent. Any other questions before I move on? All righty. So the next portion of uh, this webinar is Connect Advisor. Connect Advisor is a new thing that we have recently started to roll out as well. Connect Advisor is a on-demand learning tool that is built into the Bentley platforms. So I've, in, I've installed this on my machine and I will show you how this works. So I'm going to take a second to open up f.ss4. You can already see that Connect Advisor has loaded in that top left corner and now it's moved around. So here's Connect Advisor. It hangs out here up on this uh, primary toolbar location. It doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate. 
and in fact it should not get in the way for most average users. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the button and launch Connect Advisor. It has loaded on my other screen. I'm about to drag it over after it finishes loading. What it's doing now is um, loading up the most recent notifications for you. Connect, Connect Advisor is a on-demand training and learning tool. It's also, it, there's some contextual stuff, and I'm going to show you all, all of the, uh, the features of this. But you'll, you'll notice that all of your training, all of your support and information is all in one place, whether it's coming from the Bentley communities or YouTube or Bentley Learn. It's going to have different options for where that's coming from. You can look at the filters. This shows, I want to see new information from Bentley Learn, communities, and YouTube. And this, I believe, is stuff that's new since the last time I loaded Connect Advisor, because I believe last time I saw some items from Bentley Learn that were listed in there. Based on what you're doing, it will have... Um, it's unable to find relevant content for me because I just loaded this, but it'll have recommended training. And that comes from Bentley Learn, again, which we have access to, which is Bentley's learning platform. The other cool thing is it has contextual help information and contextual training information. Right now, I don't have a tool selected, so there's nothing going on right here. But I can select a tool, and Connect Advisor goes away. <laughs> there's probably an option to keep it on top. And right now it's searching for training regarding this tool that I've just selected, which it's taken a little bit of time, and I'm not sure why it's taking so long. It was almost instantaneous. You'll see that the only training it's found on Element Selector is the help file. Anyways, anytime you click on a tool and load a tool, it's going to find training information or help documentation for it. So imagine we can go to one of the more complex civil tools like, let's see create terrain from elements create from elements so there's a video that discusses the create from elements feature it's odd that it doesn't list a help file as well but it does give you a, a connection to the Bentley learn that's the Bentley learn logo to a training video on the create from elements tool so that way you could keep this you know it keeps you know diving behind my my microstation screen here but if you're keeping this on a separate screen where you know microstation was going to jump on top of it every time you click something then this would provide great access to that training information. Oh, hey, look at this. Keep window always on top. There you go. Um, so let's see what we have here for general settings. Uh, use last save uh, last session settings versus use my save settings. Let's take a look. Yeah. And then show titles only. So I imagine that would... I've checked that. And I'm going to click OK. And yeah, you'll notice that now create from from elements doesn't show any additional information there. Let's go back to that settings dialog. Auto refresh content, refresh if the application is idle for more than 60 minutes. So I guess that would refresh it uh, continuously rather than just when you close and open it. And then launch Connect Advisor on startup. This was something I know some people had enabled and the first thing they did when they launched Connect Advisor would come up and then they would immediately close it. So the solution to that problem is of course uncheck the launch connect advisor on startup. Oh well let me show you this. The other the other cool thing about it, it does have a search. So for example, I just went through a training on uh, connection client. Let's find out if they have some information about connection client. So I've searched for connection client in the search bar and it's populating the results. You see that we have information from the the communities page, uh, some events, product help, as well as Bentley News. It's still loading, so I'm going to give it just a minute to find some more information and see if that's all. Go ahead and fly that open. So these are Bentley communities. So largely these are going to be support articles. A lot of people unable to log into Connection Client. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with whether or not you're running the right version of Connection Client. We've got an event listed here. That appears to be a training event because it does have the Bentley Learn logo. Product help, here's all of the, well, mentions connection, and presumably client somewhere in the article. And Bentley News. 
Wondering if there was anybody in the audience that had any more questions on this. That's an excellent question. Does anyone have any questions they'd like to uh, pose? Uh, do we know when the licensing will change over how long do we have? Vern, do we have a specific date on that? Uh, so we are, we don't really have a, we need to move right now. That's, that's imperative um, because our maintenance contract will be uh, renewed July 1st and they're currently looking at our connection client usage where at 18% we need to be at 100% in order to get our discount. So we need to move everybody over as soon as possible. We need to get the software on all the CAD machines and we need to make sure that everybody is utilizing the connection client. Um, as soon as possible. Have we given a deadline to OIT? Yes, so we, we put in a, um, through the service desk, we asked them to deploy the connection client and connect advisor on all machines with the last uh, maintenance release update that we sent. So there is an S SCM that's been created and they should be pushing that out that for the next upgrade to all your machines. So if you've had your machines upgraded, then you should have the connection client and connect advisor on them. If not, then you need to get with IT to make sure that they push it on to all the CAD machines. Let me ask you a question. Do we know when we're going to be finalizing that Microsoft Federated Services rollout? So they're in the process of doing that now. We got the application into Bentley. It's now with the IT group, and they're, they should be de having it deployed. Um, I haven't gotten the final on it this week, but uh, it was down at Stacy Burns's office, and she was going to make sure that it, it uh, was included on our part as far as what we had to do. I don't know the specifics of it, though. By, by the time it's necessary, that will already have been rolled out. Yeah, I mean, it, it, for our office that have been using it, we will we'd likely see a change where we will no longer have a Bentley password to use. It will just automatically log us in. But for everyone else, it should be uh, transparent. They won't see, they won't have that issue because either they're not already logging into it or they're just now going to see that they need, that it, it's logging them into it directly. Excellent. As long as the connected uh, connection client is installed on the machine and those two boxes are checked to sign me in automatically. And uh, I forget what that other box was. Um. One right below it. That's a darn good question. Let's pull that back up. Minimize connection client after sign in. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Again, thanks for uh, attending and uh, have a great rest of your day.